All right, good morning, guys. I did the wrong eye. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one, but I like the, the look so far. I thought I'd still record it and show you the other eye. Um, let me know if my lips look too cool to you. I don't know. I'm not a pink lipstick kind of girl, but I thought I would try it. Let me, t let me know, okay? All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm going to try and figure, I'm going to try and do this so that you guys can still see it. I'm going to um, start with soft ochre paint pot. I'm going to just put it over the lid, blend it out. It's getting very dry, so now it's hard to move it along my lid. Okay. I left it out over, like, throughout the day one time. I don't know if I told you guys. All right, so I'm going to use something new today. This is a L'Oreal um, Wear and Night quad. It's called Celebrity Status Quartz number 340. Okay? So I'm going to use this on the lid, this in the crease, and this in the outer V, and this for the highlight. Alright? So we're going to start with the Sonia Kashuk um, large all-over eyeshadow brush. This is a black handle. It says from the professional line. It's about $13. And probably just use the large half inch little Cornell and do the same thing. So I'm going to put all over the lid and a little into the crease area. Okay, next I'm going to use my 217 and use that golden brown color. And this is just for the crease, so no outer V action really. to kind of soften the crease up. Next I'm going to use my Pokey Old 226. I'm going to go into that olive color. And I'm going to hit that outer third and blend up into outer V area keep building that up until I get the desired intensity. I don't I do want that a little bit darker than the crease. I gotta build it up. And go back into the 217. I haven't reloaded it or anything. And I'm just gonna blend the olive and the golden brown color together. And then I'm gonna go into that pink shade. Hit the highlight area, bringing the color down, woohoo, I hope it's just the lighting, <laughs> it's a little strong right there, okay, next I'm going to use a Lancome number 10, just any kind of, you know, penciled liner brush, so even the Essence of Beauty, the little tiny crease brush you could use, and I'm going to apply this to the outer two-thirds of the lower lash line, pushing it into lashes. So same sort of technique before, remember I talked about like where your iris ends, kind of that's the direction I stop the crease color. All right, after that I'm going to put on my liner, my mascara, and my blush, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so there is the finished look. I really like like a really light lid and a dark liner. I like the contrast. Um, <clears throat> I, these Jane, the Jane Dark Brown Mineral Gel Liner is really really nice. It's very dark brown, um, very wet. Um, this blush, everybody and anybody who has it should throw it away. Okay, take it and throw it away. It is. Dancing Queen Disco Ball. And if I can play that music right now, that's what you're going to hear. Alright. It was Shimmer Nimmer City. Unbelievably so. So anyways, so instead, I tried to rub the, it out, tried to put a little foundation on it, um, and instead I used Jane Blossom. Okay. 
And again, I will show you my little meteorites and this in pink fresh and how I put them on. Oops, take the cap off. Take a skunk brush. This is a flirt one. It's pretty cheap. Put it in there. It's like $5.99 or something. You can go get this on your Keshuk one. It's better. But anyways. And just apply it to the top of your cheekbone. But I like the skunk brush because it gets down in between the balls and kind of rubs all the little balls and gets some color off. Alright guys. So again, tell me if my lips look funny. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I feel weird because I'm not used to such a pink lipstick. But I'll talk to you guys later. Bye for now.